Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in this occasion, our group will uh, present about integrated disease management in tobacco plants. So our group members are uh, me, myself, Muhammad Ayan Akbar, which is the number 210. My name is Suma Misu Abdul Salam, which is the number 215. My name is John Adonis Kapamukas, which is the number 217. Okay, my name is Abil Miljam Syati, with student number 229. My name is Isna Yunis Terin, with student number 242. Okay, let's, uh, let me state our background. The tobacco plant is one of the native plant of the native tropical plants of America, where the natives is at in traditional ceremonies and medicine. Tobacco was first used in North America. Tobacco entered Europe via Spain, Tobacco is a seasonal crop that is classified as a plantation crop. The use of tobacco plants, especially in their leaves, is for the manufacture of cigarettes. Plant disease is a factor that greatly affects the decline in production. Several diseases can cause damage to tobacco plants, which can reduce the quality and quantity of crop yields. Based on this, it is necessary to control tobacco plant disease. Before controlling it, it should be necessary to, to identify the disease in tobacco plants. Our discussions uh, will move to disease management and control in tobacco plants. Disease and management control in tobacco plants. Next. Ramping off. Symptom of spotting disease are the base of the seedling that are not, such as being pitched, rotting, brown, and eventually the seeds collapse. When removed, the roots sometimes look healthy white. In old or young seedlings have just been transferred, their growth is stunned. Then leaves turn yellow, wither, and eventually die. The base of the stem is not broad and brown. This disease is caused by fungus SP, leaf and temperature of 24 Celsius, high humidity and poor drainage. The control is regulated by removing disease plant and then collect them and burn them. Carry out soil cultivation for nutrients three until four times with an interval of seven until 15 days. Cleaning, seedling and setting up nursery areas to reduce humidity Disinfecting with 12% of CUSO4 uh, solution, fungicide ridomil 2G for grams, or um, spraying the seed before planting, use the varieties. Next. And then lanas disease. Lanas disease occur both during seeding and during planting. Symptoms of disease of seedling are spot on the leaf that quickly expand to the leaf of the seed become lodo as if they were poor with hot water. The base of the rotten stem is brown. The causes of lanas disease is the fungus Phytophthora nicotinae. The control of lanas disease is Sanitation arrangement by pulling out sick plants and then burning them. Dis disinfect the soil before sowing. Do land cultivation. Creation of high mound for good rain neck. Making manure that is ripe. Crop rotation. Use, use resistant varieties and spraying the base of the stem with fungicide. Next. This is a, a picture of Lana's disease. Okay, the next disease is tobacco mosaic virus. The main symptom of tobacco mosaic disease usually begin in young leaf. The leaf burn and surrounding tissues, tissue colorists are clear, 
like green resulting in a contrasting color around the leaf bud. Furthermore, irregular courses occur with a hollow leaf strip. The green part of the leaf will become greener. The pathogen for mosaic disease is tobacco mosaic virus. Mosaic disease can be transmitted mechanically either by human, animals, or little leaf. Okay, next. Uh, okay, as you can see, this is the picture of disease DMV in tobacco plant. How to control this disease? To control this disease is first sanitation, removing this plant and crop residues, and then destroying weeds. Next, disinfect work hands with residue phosphate soap. And last control is use resistant variety. Okay, next. Okay, the last one is Crackers disease. Symptom of the disease are of three types, namely first symptom of the usual crackers are leaves that are wrinkled with curved edge upwards. The bones of the leaves are bent and thickened. Second is the symptom of clear crackers are leaf edge curve downward, clear leaf bones and not thickness. And the last one is curly. The symptom are very wrinkled and very raw leaves, curved leaf edge and thickened leaf bones. And how to control it is perform sanitation by pulling disease seed plants and then destroying them. Control of the Misia tabachi with white fly factors with insecticide. Next. So the conclusion is tobacco is a seasonal crop that is classified as a plantation crop. The use of tobacco plants, especially in their leaves, is for the manufacture of cigarettes. Important diseases that affect tobacco plants are dumping off, lanas disease, tobacco mosaic disease, and cracker disease. Diseases of tobacco plants can be controlled by applying the concept of IPM by combining several control techniques, namely control by cultivation, regulation, resistant varieties, and chemical control. Next. Thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.